Welcome back to my channel. So the first thing that I am going to do is I will remove the eyes. There you go. And then I am going to use a Bosni Flat Clear Spray Paint for his first coat. Okay, so this is very important guys. And I am waiting for him to dry. And here it is. Next is we're going to use a gloves and of course a soft pastel. So I used a light red shade for um, the inner eye. Yeah, that's important as well. And I use dark brown for shading, for contouring, shading parts of his face. And here is a Faber-Castell color pencil, which is I am going to use for his eyebrows. Then, I decided to shade the eyebrow part with a soft pastel to give it a more darker look. And then, I proceeded with the color pencil. So now I'm scrutinizing his face to see if the brows fit but then I decided to just erase it and draw a new eyebrow. So I used a friction eraser if that's what you call it and a kneadable eraser from Faber-Castell. So here we are for part 2 of his eyebrows and I hope this goes well so I decided to dip the color pencil into the water because um, the color is not that really strong and so with the use of water it will be more visible time for part three because I did it did not go well again so Yes, I am showing for the third time. So I'm observing his face again, but then let's go to part four of drawing his eyebrows. It's really hard, guys. I am having, I had a hard time with it. And then let's go with part five of drawing his brows. Oh no, how how many parts will this go? Kajik is making it hard for me. <laughs> Just kidding. I gave up with color pencil and decided to shade it with a soft pastel, but then I am going to use a kneaded eraser because it was too thick and yeah but i still go on with the soft pastel color black for his eyebrows and it was horrible guys it was horrible it was so thick and with the use of a kneaded eraser um it became thin and it wasn't as hard to erase um, compared with the color pencil so yeah but then I wasn't convinced with color with soft pastel and so I used color pencil again But hey, let's proceed to part 6 or 7. I don't know anymore. But let's go with another eyebrows again. Guys, it's really hard. So 
So as you can see, it's getting better now or I don't know if that's just for my view but I think it's getting better now. So right now, I am um, applying shade uh, under his eyes. And then for the lower lashes, I used um, black color pencil. And contouring again, this time um, emphasizing his nose and his cheeks. But then I erased it because I wasn't contented. And finally, for his lips, so I used um, a mix of um, a dark brown shade and a red shade for his lips. And here we go! Here is the first face up that I did. And yeah, that wasn't final because I decided to change it. Yes, as you can notice, I am indecisive. <laughs> And then here we are for part 7 of his eyebrows. This time, I I am making um, it more thicker because I've asked persons in my house and they've suggested that I make the brows thicker. But then it was too thick and so I used in an eraser. And now I'm drawing for his lid. I used a dark brown pencil for it. Time for his lower lashes again. And this time I used a dark brown pencil. But then I've noticed his eyebrows are too thick and so I used a kneadable eraser again and redraw his eyebrows. As you can notice, drawing an eyebrow for a doll is as hard as drawing an eyebrow in a real person. <laughs> And shade, shade, shade again! Redrawing his lower lashes because I wasn't contented. <laughs> Leapy time! This is the result, so I've been observing again, and then I've decided to enhance his eyebrows. And as you can see, it's thick now, and I'm making it thicker again. Contouring part again. And lips time as well. At this point, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm still trying to finish his face up because I was tired at this moment. on I stared at him and I'm going to redraw his lower lashes
and right now I'm doing random things at his face that I think would look would make him look realistic and that's it for his face up Mwah. okay but then I wasn't satisfied again and so I erased his eyebrows and yeah, I used erasers, kneadable eraser and friction eraser. But I tried to avoid the friction eraser as much as possible because um, it gives shiny finish on the eyebrow. So I tried to shade it with um, a soft pastel so that I would have a guide for drawing his eyebrows. And I sharpened my color pencil so that the streaks would be thin for his eyebrows. So as you can see, the eyebrows are thinner now because I wasn't satisfied with the thick brows and so I tried thin brows for Kajit. Okay, so I honestly don't know why I am brushing dark color, soft pastels on his face. It's just that I think that he would look realistic with it. So yeah, I was just experimenting. And by the way, this is the first time that I did a face up with a male doll. And so I wasn't really... I don't really know what I'm doing at first. Lower lashes again. And eyebrows. <laughs> because I'm just not really satisfied with the look. And we're almost done. I'm just shading some parts of his face and here is the result, guys. I like it. Anja likes it. But then, I've decided to change his eyebrows again. And this time, I did not film the process of changing his eyebrows because I thought that I'm going to change it again. But I was wrong. It it was the final look for him this is the final look for him the eyebrows i i've decided to arch it and adjust it lower closer to his eyes yeah sad that i did not film it i because i thought that i will erase it again and now i'm shading i don't know what i'm doing but i'm shading 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 More hair for his brows and lower lashes again. So this is the look guys as um, I am okay with this but I've decided to change his lips. I'm going to change his lips.
And this time, I have decided to make it lighter. Not dark brown, not red lips, but something lighter. Really, really, really light. And finally, here is his look, guys. So, at this point, okay, I can say that I am satisfied. And yes, I've sealed it with a Bosni spray paint again. And this time, I'm going to use X22 Tamiya Color Acrylic Paint for his eyelid. Yeah. But yeah, I won't use a clear gloss for his lips. And now, let's proceed to his eyelashes. Yes, I'm going to put eyelashes on him. And I cut the full eyelashes from Miniso. And then I used Elmer's glue to attach it. So I just used my fingers and a needle. And now for the second eye, I just did the same process. And super finally here is the result here is Kajik with his new face and I'm honestly loving it I love the result finally after two days of trying to give him a face up and I am now satisfied I love the result I appreciate my hard work and here are some sweet moments of him together with Andra. Enjoy! And thank you so much guys for watching. I wish you happy days ahead and see you on my next vlog. Bye!